Gavin and Wesley Gaming says you should try doing the CC side quest in Hateno Village. This is exciting. Okay. Let's do it. I've never actually done this quest in my own game. Peter, did you complete this quest? I did. Okay, I'm excited about this. Uh, it's a good one. It's a lot of fun. I had um, to sort of like plow through the main story stuff because I really didn't want to get spoiled. And it was smart that I did because shortly after I beat the game, I accidentally saw some like pretty big spoilers. Shortly after means. you beat the game? Mm -hmm. mm. So if I hadn't, I would have been spoiled in the ending. By all means, head on in before someone else shows up. Between you and me, Cece herself is in there right now. That said, we're only displaying the new CC line right now, so not selling it. Sorry to disappoint. We also had sentry mode activated, say get the CC hat and wear it permanently. We won't do that, but thank you for the comment. That hat is pretty cool looking. Everything else she makes is just god off. Yeah, the mushroom but print the hat, this stuff. This hat is cool. With ruffles, the hat is cool. Oh, another <laughs> practically perfect masterpiece. It's exemplar from form from every angle. This is the sort of thing on which I've built my name and reputation as the world-renowned CC. Mm -hmm. I was just talking to myself. Pardon me, are you an admirer here to meet the incomparable CC? I must say you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Look at your outfit. Welcome to Ventus Clothing, the only boutique in the world that carries a CC brand. If you weren't aware... <sighs> You stand before the very woman who changed the fusty old village into the birthplace of no fashion. As proof, I present to you this abomination. The CC hat. The newest and most magnificent work by yours truly, CC. Do you see the luxurious curve? Do you note my avant-garde color choices? Wouldn't you call it the pinnacle of perfection? This piece is so special that I dare not assign a price to it. It's not for sale. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. Only the most impressive fashionista in Hyrule's trendiest village is worthy of such a crown. I think she's a hipster. I don't know. She's beyond hipster. What's all this about Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember approving any new slogans for Hateno. I'm curmudgeon and stuck oh, in my ways. Look who's here. It's the mayor. I tried to stop him from coming in like you asked, but we wouldn't take no for an answer. Is that Jesus? Cece, you have no... My sheep hear my voice. <laughs> and they listen to me. You have not... You've got to quit littering the village with our weird art pieces. Yeah, see, I agree with Reed The here. kingdom of God is like a house built upon a solid foundation, not a house of hats. <laughs> and mushrooms. <laughs> Those eyesores are so bright at night that they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. And I wouldn't hide my light under a bushel. No. <laughs> I'm gonna foundation. let it shine. Hateno's foundation is its produce. What are we going to do if it fails? Aww. Now, now, dear, there's no need to get so... Oh, it's Mary Magdalene. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? Are we playing Tears of the Kingdom or watching The Chosen? <laughs> Don't fall for her line of twaddle. She's got everyone in Hateno wrapped around her finger already. She's a Pharisee. Whitewashed tomb. <laughs> Looking after the village, you say? Who do you suppose you have to thank for Hateno's rejuvenation? I didn't need rejuvenating. Hateno Village is a peaceful place where folks meet, live quiet lives, and that's the way we like it. Do they? Then let us leave the matter to the people to decide. My avant-garde approach versus the mayor's quaint, bygone ways. The citizen will decide which outlook will drive the future of the village. A Judeo-Christian value set or a post-modernist progressive set? No, it is very, like, traditional versus modern or post-modern. You're calling for a mayoral election? Sure suits me. I'll win that pretty easily. I'll start putting up Trump signs right now. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> read signs. Come on, Clavia. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. It's time we headed back home. <laughs> Yeah, what did he fart? Is I thought that was the door. Did he like de crop dust as he left? He's just kind of like, and this is for you. Yeah. See you later, mayoral <laughs> opponent. <laughs> oh, it's you again. You, you're Got still a here? to do list preparation of mayoral election. The sooner I get started, the better. No. Hmm. Maybe you could, I, I don't know, saying, scram. But you are, of course. Ooh, what are you? What are we? <sighs> I'm a CC voter. But of course, that settles that. I trust I plan for. Uh, playing for all to see that I'm a shoe in for the next mayor. So one would think. Yet there are stragglers in the village still supporting Reed. They need a mental makeover. Or to be disappeared. 
And so, I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed's supporters. So, CeCe's all about color and fashion and modern sensibilities, and Reed's a little more traditional. And He wants uh, to build a wall and, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm <laughs> trying to bring it away from that. Oh, <laughs> uh, this has nothing to do with our political stances or not. Oh, we got shrooms. They're for the village's Reed supporters. It's easy to recognize them by how unstylish they are. My supporters are all expert fashionistas dressed in the nine seasons. You know, like by how practically they're dressed. Don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. There's also no need to give them to children, travelers, or any temporary residents like the Sheikah researchers. That leaves us, unless I miss my guess, a total of eight Reed supporters. Your mission is simple. Give a single Hylian shroom to each of those eight misguided voters. Well, off you go. Okay, so we're like... Ballot harvesting? Is that what's going on? Sort of. You're 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 canvassing. Oh sure. Um, that's, that's a children. A yep. She can't vote yet. So what do you think would have happened if you'd have told her you're a Reed voter? I don't know. Yeah, it's <gasps> interesting, isn't it? What happens if? I think it's well documented. Oh, is it? Yeah. Does she just make you do it anyway? Well, I don't know. Hey there, brother. <laughs> hey. Oh, you, you don't, don't know, know me, me. I'm, I'm a worker, worker. I'm, I am gainfully employed. Whoever's at the counter right now can help you out if you need something. It's probably my wife, Prima, you'll be dealing with. Every time I show my face around here, she demands to know why I'm not wearing CC brand clothes. Keep my distance till the fad dies down. I never knew our dear Prima was the type to get so worked up about fashion. You need something else? Something's not ready to the end? I have a shroom. shroom. Oh, for me? Thanks. My wife loves CC stuff, so I'll save it as a treat for her. Not too many designs myself, but she's pretty pleased with them. She does look incredibly cute when she wears them, too. Yeah, that CC is all right in my book, and I'm not the only one. Koyan from the farm on the hill said the same thing. Oh, mm -hmm. Koyan from the farm on, on the, the hill. hill. Time to go well, up the hill. Up there. That's one. We got to get seven more. Seven more Republicans. Oh, oh did, I mean, did uh, I say uh, that out loud? Uh, Non-Republicans. <laughs> when I first played this quest, I was like, Nintendo's kind of hitting the nail pretty square on the head here. Yeah. <laughs> with the whole, like, mm, two-party system, mm, traditional values, uh, modern sensibilities, uh, uh, ugly, oh. gaudy outfits, the emperor's new clothes. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, I saw an old guy sitting by those cuckoos. He probably wants a mushroom. Well, so, same with this guy, I bet. Mm, you got something for me? I have a Highland shroom. Is this from Cece? Isn't that sweet? It's tasty if you fry them up as a snack. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the gift, but me and my daughter Coyan and old man talk. Don't care much about clothes. What use is fashion in the field, right? Anyways, you're a treat uh, three acorns for milk? Uh, goodbye. Time was. Oh yeah, when we became Dairy Boy, we'd established a relationship with him where we could trade acorns for milk. Uh, uh, Highland uh, shroom. Here's a, I'm gonna put a mushroom between your shoulder blades. generous of her, thanks. What's this? Fine looking mushroom you brought me. Seems like lately, the CC's mushrooms are popping up everywhere around here. It makes my eyes water a bit to see those flashy colors wherever I turn. Family and I have friends my age tend to take life slower than she does. Still and all, it'd be rude to turn down a generous gift. Thank you. All that to say, mm, I'll eat it, but I won't change my vote. Yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. Ooh, is she a child? I don't know. Is she, she came out here anyway. Age? She's working with cheese. She looks like it. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, is that four? You up to four already? Yes, I've done four. I'll bet in the log it tells you how many. I wonder if the teach. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh you're the customer at South Aventus oh. Clothing, aren't you? You know, from when they were talking about whether to go through the mayoral election or not, it's become something of a hassle. They're both so stubborn. Yes, they are. I wish they'd clear the air between them all. And this silly quarrel once and for all, but that's something a moot point. I have something else on my mind. I have to take care of this mayor before the mayoral election starts. Well, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? You don't mind lending me an ear? I won't mince my words. It's about my husband. That man of mine, he shuts himself up in our shed every night. <gasps> I don't know the faintest what he's up to. <gasps> when I ask, he just says, it's a secret. <gasps> and I can't get another peep out of him. I hate the idea of snooping on him. Plus, I think he'd catch me at it right away. <laughs> it's so worried. I think about the, what he's doing will affect his chances for the election. I was fit to burst if I could, couldn't find someone to talk about this. Good thing you came along. I'd like you enter our shed at midday when my husband isn't around and see if you can figure out what he's doing. I'll pay you for your troubles, of course. Mm. The only problem is I can see that he keeps the place locked up tight. You never fit through a window, but maybe you could dig a hole or something? Well, you can figure it out. Maybe okay, which you, shed? If you could get beneath... Yeah, that one right there. This shed. Yep. At midday. So, like, right now. 
there's a well nearby, isn't there? I think I was looking at it when maybe, I was up there. Maybe, 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 maybe. Right Dude, I Getting wonder if it's warmer? like. I wonder if it's like CC brand women's clothing he's wearing at night. Yeah, and he like secretly. dances in front of a mirror. He's like, la, da, 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 da. Ah, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Could be almost anything. Could be almost anything Nintendo of America would allow. They're for almost nothing. Oh. Well, where's the shed? Oh, it's is it where the bell is? Or is that the school? That's the school. That's the school. I think this is the oh, shed. Oh, yeah, I think you're this right. Little thing here. <gasps> oh. Well, I see. If you I want to turn the this. mini map on, you can. That may be helpful. I just turned off. I turned on pro. <laughs> To get the intro for the first Ooh, video. I do not want to uh, use up that weapon. Yeah, no. Do we gotta get, before too long, we're gonna have to expand our weapon slots, and we're gonna have to get a house and put some stuff like yeah. that away. The Fierce Deity Sword is a good one to go on permanent display, if you know what I you mean. You know what I mean. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. That was just literal. There was a single entendre. Oh. You're headed, you're headed in the right direction. Wait, look at that map again. Isn't it? It's literally right above me right now. Ooh, it may even give you a little hint in the ceiling too. Like, look, look how flat it is right here. Hmm. There might be something above. <gasps> <gasps> Notes toward a new variety of pumpkin. Well, you better read it. I firmly believe that Ateno Village's charm and the delicious vegetables and milk from our farms. There's no denying that these things are just aren't resonating with the youth nowadays. I've got no business being mayor if I can't fix that. So I got together with Knack, the best farmer in these parts, so we came up with a new type of pumpkin, a smashing pumpkin. The color, shape, and appearance are based on the CC brand aesthetic, which is popular with the young folk. We've hit a snag, though. It might be a bit before we can achieve our goal of shipping the mm. pumpkins out. Interesting. So it's a pumpkin. I'm just going to leave this way. Mini progress? Yeah, it's pumpkins. Yeah, it's pumpkins and... Velk a new type of pumpkin. He's consulting with Knack so often he could just ask Cece about it directly, but I know he's too hardworking and stubborn for that. It's a relief to find out the truth. A lot of things make sense now. Like why he went to Ventus Clothing. It's so obvious in hindsight. Ah, I'm sorry. That's between me and my husband. Thank you for looking into things for me. I promise a reward. I'll keep my promises. Here's a bunch of tomatoes. Mm, thank you. I love tomatoes. But we can't give her one because she's part of his family. Right. That would be a waste. This house stinks. <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you just leave. run in there and you're this like, This house stinks. Yeah, your I'm house here. stinks. <laughs> okay. CC is quick to recruit Link to her side, asking him to distribute eight mushrooms around Hateno Village in an attempt to sway the last few holdouts. All team CC or team read villager locations. When CC hands you the eight mushrooms, she tells you not travelers, children, or Reed's family, and they're not wearing CC brand clothes. I'm surprised she's not okay with travelers. Uh, townsfolk of Hateno have a daytime and nighttime schedule. If you don't see someone at a given time a day, check back in 12 hours or so. Okay, dance. Either out in Hateno pasture or in his farmhouse nearby. Hateno Pasture? Coyan. Hateno Pasture, either in the house oh. or by the pond out back. Yeah, we got those. Uh, Who is this freak? Hey, what brings you to town? Tomato. Oh, kind of handsome, actually. Yeah, mushroom gate decoration at night, sweeping the entrance to the village. By day. Please, find your heart to forget what happened today. Okay, it's forgotten. I feel like you weren't getting what I was going for there. Way to kill the mood. Oh, did she flirt Do with you? Do you need something? I have a Hylian trip. She did. Huh. Wow, thank you. <laughs> I need to get the one that's by the bulletin board. You're going to? Right now, yeah. That's your goal? That's my goal. Yeah. All right. Oh, I missed her because she's around a bunch of other mushroom heads. Ah. Uh, there goes the village. Yeah. They're putting these strange villa decorations all over the village. Is that a him? I don't know. I think it's a dude, maybe? 
dude looks like a lady. Mind you, we're all happy to see Cece return to the village after she'd been away for so long. Some folks like my daughter, Prima, started wearing that flashy Cece brand stuff right away in celebration. Yeah, I have a shroom. You say this is from Cece? Aww. Thank you kindly. Us old folks don't know much about what's in now, you know. I'm happy to vote for whoever m f for mayor if they'll fix up the village real nice. Well, define real nice. Is it stupid glowy mushrooms? Okay, Meta is in One his left. Hylian tomato field or in his house next to the field. Boom. Tomato field. Uh, then you got Tak and Uma and Wharton. Meta, have a Hylian shroom. Last one. Oh. Something for Cece, pretty obvious. You know, people keep talking about the Cece brand stuff, but it never really clicked with me. Farmers aren't too precious. Boom, 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 boom. We did it. Now we can talk to Cece. That's what happens next. So wait, so if you can make people vote for Reed instead? Then what happens? Hmm. I'm going to do that in my game, in my personal game. Oh, have you handed them out already? Oh, you delivered all my little gifts, I see. Well done. That ought to help a few of those Reed voters out see the light. Here you are, sign of my gratitude. Big hearty truffle. We'll it's have to cook that up. Worth more than most can afford. As you're on Team Cece, I expect you to eat it and fire yourself up for the mayoral election count. All right, Team so, Cece or Team Reed? So... Now, when nighttime falls, is Reed gonna be in that shed that you snuck into? Ooh, yeah. What's, what's she saying here? What should I do? She said me with so much work when she put me in charge of the mayoral election. Um, sir, I feel like I should apologize for dragging into this mess I found myself, but since we're both involved now, could you give me a little advice? Sure. sure. Should have expected that. The thing is, I need your advice on my sister. It's about Cece. Oh, sister. She's been sneaking off alone in the middle of the night. <gasps> I don't think it's She's anything sinister. She's smooching Reed. But the election is soon, and he's married, and I don't want any last-minute surprises. <laughs> get to tail my sister, find out where she's going, what she's up to, and get back to me. I've tried following her myself, but she spotted me right away. So I talked to Reed's wife and Cece's sister before I found out what either of them were doing, and I was like, no <gasps> way. They're not a Nintendo thing. They're smooching in the night. <laughs> Help me out, please. Okay, so we got a we gotta set up shop. Grumble, grumble. Mumble, Love's mumble. fire burns forever. What's up, dude? What's the matter? You can tell me, weirdly handsome dude. You look like you've been places, sure, things are peaceful in the old village, but it's a jungle out there in the world. That's why I stick here out here, checking out the scene, making sure no strangers put the moves on Mrs. Ivy. Ms. Ivy. Oh, Ms. Huh? Ms. Always add the Ms. <laughs> Ms. Ivy's a poster girl from East Wind General Store. There's no problem if you want to talk to Ms. Ivy. Just keep the naive. I just moved here and won't somebody show me around act to a minimum. That's mine. Not that anyone could be as young, guyish, or fashion esque as me. By the way, quick question for you, big guy. What kind of present do you think would make Miss Ivy at East Wind happy? Mushrooms. I'm not asking for you. Uh, obviously, I just can't go ask you directly. Think of something. Okay. <laughs> How about a bunch of cockroaches? A <laughs> hundred of them. Okay. We got a. We got to set up. Camp. A hidden spot. Peel away the injustice. That is an old song. <laughs> Dude, Banana Man is taking a new turn. He's like the He's Dark Batman. Knight. Yeah. I'm Banana Man. <laughs> Where is he? Where is she? Don't make me peel the flesh from your bones. Well, the song is by Dio. Oh, Dio's a great band. He's like a rainbow in the dark. <laughs> oh yeah, Holy Diver. Remember that album? Ronnie James Dio. Oh, Dude, the blood moon coming out of the that red moon shrine is cool. Rises. It is a dark omen for banana kind. <laughs> hey, don't forget to watch Cece. But I will find justice for the plantains. Cece's probably walking away right now. She's not. She might be. I've been watching. You've been watching? I'm a banana rama. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, once she rounds the corner, you're gonna make like a banana split and split. <laughs> <laughs> there, mushroom. That's your mushroom impression? Oh, there she is. Don't was, turn this way, please. I was just about to start telling knock knock Where's jokes. Where's she going? The 50 best knock knock jokes according to Women's Health Magazine. Okay, we're gonna do this the ninja way. The rooftops. Who's there? A ton of laughs. That's who. 
<laughs> oh, she's going over here? Ooh. Oh, she's going into... Careful. Into Careful. that little place there. Careful. I wonder if she's secretly trying to... Do something Understand pumpkins. Yeah. So he did. Knock, knock. No, not right now. Water. Water what? What are you asking so many questions for? Just open up. Wow. Knock, knock. Who's there? Candace. Candace who? Can this episode get any worse? <laughs> it's Candace joking anymore. She's, she's going. She's going up. Dude, don't oh, get shut steps. out, man. Well, I gotta be close enough? Well, maybe you could go in the low. Oh! <gasps> no! <gasps> she's drawing vegetables! Well, this is a fine turn of events. How in the world did you get in here? Into my silo, I might note. I can't just anyone coming in at all hours a day. Shoo, shoo! I wonder if that was ineffective. Maybe you're supposed to spy on her from a loft. Oh. Maybe I just telling you exactly what you need to do. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm. Look at her. Smooching the mayor. Perfect. I do believe nobody saw me. I'm Except free to enjoy another twice. of my late night meals in secret. Oh. How I enjoy the nightly vegetables, the shine, the luster, the fragrance. Yes, indeed. Now this is luxury dining. And so without further ado, let's tuck in. Um, this is the healthiest you have to eat eating so, disorder ever. You have to eat so many carrots to get overweight from it. So, so scrumptious. The crisp, smooth taste is a sign they were grown in a diet of pure water. Thanks to the farmer's deft touch and quality of the soil, I can even eat the skin without misgivings. Wow. Though I built a reputation on flash and glamour here in private, I must admit the simple, unadorned things are best. There's simply no denying it, alas. But now that I'm full for tonight, it's best that I return home. If I don't return quickly, Sophie may start to suspect something. <laughs> so I suppose the, um, I'm going to just give an entire monologue about yeah. all of the things. <laughs> Exposition! Uh, I suppose the moral of the story here is that even beacons of, like, modern sensibilities still have some traditional oomph in them, and vice versa. Right. Like the old school mayor is still like, oh, you tell my sister pumpkins. I'm so nervous wow. about her. Sounds like fun. Really? The silo across the way? Yeah, she's eating vegetables. she'd be hiding something big. Is that really all there was to it? She's just jamming carrots into her face. <laughs> Non-stop. She's like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> or a rabbit. <laughs> The truth is, she just wanted to eat the vegetables grown right here in her own hometown again. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. Either way, I'm so glad she wasn't up to anything scandalous. I want you to have this in exchange for helping me out. Hey, I got some iron shrooms. That was pretty scandalous. Sister really is a handful sometimes, but she and Reed want the same things, you know. Just can't understand why the two of them won't work together. One of them could be vice mayor. With you getting out my vote, I'm certain those Reed partisans will see the light. Excellent work, darling. Be assured that I shan't forget all you've done. Once the election begins in earnest, I hope that you'll be on hand to witness my triumphant descendants to public office. The, you know this lady reminds me of? The Joy Pendant Lady. Yeah. From Wind Waker. I liked her better, I think, though. Ooh. Only you have the nerve to address the great CC so casually. Need something? I want a CC hat. Ah, no. uh, shows great personal growth. You can recognize the quality. Oh, you know what? The you... only way I would part with my is someone meeting my personal approval that I could pass it on to. I mean the clothes in the shop used to sell in the Royal Guard and the Hylian series? Yeah, I disposed of that. There's no need for the shop to stock anything that doesn't meet my exacting standard for fashion. So until I change my mind again, the shop is now the flagship location for the CC brand, where I don't sell any of the clothing. Uh, I will concede that you're starting to pay the barest minimum of attention to fashion. Is that Sage's hand I detect on your outfit? I can always tell when someone has visited the Kochi dye shop. Well, yes. Good oh. job. She does have an eye for fashion. New signature food. No. Okay, that's a part of this whole CC mayoral thing, too. Oh, but okay. We might have to do that in the yeah, future. Yeah, I think we do have to do that next time. Oh, well, we're getting... This is a big quest. This is like... Like, uh... I don't know. This is reminding me of some of the Kakariko quests that you had to do that took a lot, a bit longer and more time in the town. You had to talk to more people. Yeah. This is cool, though. Okay. Very cool indeed. So new food. We're gonna have to talk to the 
cheese guys. Okay. Well, uh, if you want to take a break from this series and watch something else fun we did in Zelda, you should probably click on the video on the screen right now because <laughs> it's a doozy, and we will meet you guys over there in, in the, the basement. basement.